so when we at Datacratic heard that there was going to be a meetup that was uh, Montreal Data, Montreal Python, Montreal Docker, we knew we had to be there. Uh, but I only have 300 seconds, so, uh, so get ready. Um, uh, today, I'm, gonna, I'm really excited to do the first ever demonstration uh, outside the walls of Datacratic of our new product. Uh, it's a machine learning database. MLDB, um, and so the data part is pretty easy. MLDB loves data. Uh, MLDB is essentially an end-to-end -end system designed to uh, collect large volumes of sparse data, to train machine learning models on that data, and then deploy and keep updated uh, those models uh, for real-time or batch processing. So MLDB loves data. MLD MLDB loves Docker. MLDB is essentially a REST API delivered as a Docker image. So to run MLDB, it's just Docker run, you know, some port mapping, MLDB, and that's it. Then you connect to whatever port you, you've, uh, you've specified, and that's basically our Docker and DevOps story uh, with MLDB. Uh, and then last but not least, uh, MLDB loves Python. MLDB loves Python uh, in three different ways that, that I'm going to talk about. So number one, um, you know, REST APIs are awesome for interacting over the web. REST APIs are awesome for uh, integrating distributed systems. REST APIs are not great uh, for their network latency. If you want to do, uh, if you want to call a REST API in a tight loop, you're, uh, you're in for some pain and some latency. So what we do with MLDB is we allow you to take a Python script and ship it to MLDB over REST, and we'll execute it in process for you. So we'll do the REST calls inside the, ML inside the MLDB process, bypassing the network stack. So that's one way in which uh, Python is essentially the scripting language for MLDB. The second way MLDB loves Python is that you know, uh, we love the IPython notebook Jupyter uh, interface for data science. It's an awesome way to have a sort of conversation with, uh, with a library to do some visualization to do data, data science. So uh, with MLDB, we ship a library called PyMLDB, which is essentially a, a set of Python libraries that help you interact with MLDB. We've integrated pretty deeply into the IPython notebook using the IPython uh, uh, cell magic. And I'm going to give a quick demonstration uh, of that that alongside the, the shipping of the uh, Python code. Whoop, sorry, that's not what I wanted to do. So uh, given that I only have my uh, whatever is left of my 300 seconds, um, <laughs> uh, this is uh, a TSNI visualization of the Reddit universe. So every dot in this, uh, in this plot here uh, is a subreddit. You've got all the musical subreddits up here. You've got all the little My Little Pony subreddits down here. Um, I presented uh, uh, basically how to do this using Scikit-Learn uh, back in December. This is, uh, this is the notebook that ships with MLDB on how to do this inside MLDB. So I'll show you very, very briefly how to do this uh, with the, the Jupyter instance that ships inside MLDB. First thing you do, you load the MLDB extension after you've pip installed uh, PyMLDB. And then basically you're going to use the percent %MLDB uh, cell magic to have an HTTP conversation with the server. So I'll walk you very briefly through this. Uh, we're going to delete the data, the, the sort of uh, machine learning pipelines in case they're already there. And then we're basically going to use three algorithms, uh, SVD, singular value decomposition. So we put that. K-means for clustering. We don't have dbscan yet. Um, <laughs> and uh, tSNE for visualization. Uh, we use all the same tricks as scikit-learn uh, to make it really, really fast. So the next thing we need to do is we need to load some data. Now, um, this is basically how you can ship Python code over to the MLDB, uh, MLDB process. You just say percent percent MLDB pi, and this little script here, which uh, downloads a file from the internet, decompresses it in memory, and loads it into an MLDB dataset, will run inside the MLDB process. So it'll be, it'll be quite fast. We're basically using the same REST interface uh, as you can use over HTTP, but we're bypassing the network stack. So this runs in, a, in, uh, in about 10 seconds, and then all we need to do is run our pipelines, we get it down to the bottom, and we can basically query it using, uh, you can query MLDB using a dialect of SQL um, to, to get out uh, cluster labels X and Y, and we can make our little uh, subreddit map using Bokeh. So this is uh, all done in IPython notebook. You can run the IPython notebook that ships with the Docker container, or you can run one uh, on your own machine. So those are the first two ways in which MLDB loves Python. You can send Python code to it, uh, and we have uh, some awesome hooks into, into IPython notebook slash Jupyter, depending on what you want to call it. The third way that uh, MLDB loves Python is that uh, we provide an SDK so you can build plugins for MLDB in Python. You can essentially embed some Python code uh, into MLDB to uh, essentially serve up new REST routes to build REST APIs, uh, predictive APIs, and to build new UIs. So, uh, I have a quick little demo here called Titanic, which, uh, <laughs> which will compute your chances of surviving the uh, Titanic disaster based on your characteristics as a passenger. Um, I'm running out of time, but basically, here you have the percentage, the likelihood of surviving, and you can see that the more you paid for your ticket, uh, the more... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
the more likely you were to survive, the older you were, not, not too, too much relationship. So what I'm demoing here is that essentially as I'm uh, sliding the slider around, my browser is making repeated HTTP calls to uh, MLDB, to the predictor inside. Uh, this scales up to thousands of requests per second for real time. For uh, batch scoring, we can do millions of scorings per second. Um, so this is basically uh, my demo of MLDB, where we're at as a project. Um, this, is, uh, this is a major new product for our company. This is the first time I'm demoing it. Um, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> um, we're essentially in closed alpha right now, so I don't want to broadcast the URL here. But if you come talk to me or anybody from Datacratic, team, raise hands. Yay. Um, anybody from Datacratic, uh, all of us here on the tech team are based in Montreal. We'd be happy to talk to you. We'd be happy to meet with you in person, uh, get your feedback. Um, so, so come talk to us. Uh, we'd, be, we'd be super happy to, to chat.